Hi, morning everybody. How are you? I'll just get the chat up so I can see my squeaky chair. Sorry. Come on. Wait, there we go. Oh, uh, why do I have to watch my own ads? <laughs> They're annoying, sorry. <laughs> right, okay. Morning, everybody. Morning, Lisa. Morning, Terry. Let's wait for more people to turn up. This is what I painted yesterday. I just finished it off with a few little scribbly bits with because I had the, I had the sword brush out. So I used that, this one, to do some twiddly bits on it. So it's finished now. And it's got a mark on it. I've sold it. <laughs> there we go. See how shaky my camera goes. Hi, Jill. Hi, Mrs. T. Hi, Stephen. Hi, Harmony. <laughs> Right, this is yesterday's painting. It's really nice, a bit close up. Someone asked me what pencil I used in the middle, so I missed some of the chat. I think I just, I didn't really, I just picked up any pencil that was to hand really because the, pa the paint was just sort of wet. And so I scraped away the paint rather than the actual colour being actually used, so. If anyone wants to know what these are, they're Faber Castle Art Grip Aquarelle pencils. I don't know why they have these fancy bobbles on it. I suppose if you use them all the time, they might come in handy, but I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, my um, cables floating around. Right, this is yesterday's painting, and I've already started removing the um, high mark. Um, so I say hi Diane, hi Sylvia, sorry if I miss you, um, I've started removing the masking fluid because I realised that it's going to be an arduous task to actually, and I'm going to make the camera go all shaky, so I'm, I've, this is a putty rubber and I'm just, um, removing the masking fluid you can see I haven't done sort of this area uh, when you can't so you find if you run your hand over the masking over the paper you can feel where the masking fluid is so I'm going to cough <coughs> um Carrie's asked did I grate ink tents in the middle no I didn't do any um grating <laughs> I didn't I just used some watercolours. This has been a beast to get off, so you'll have to excuse me and you'll have to excuse the shaky camera as well whilst I do it. I did do most of it, but I just wanted to show you. It's bloody hard work. <laughs> you, you can get other um, masking fluid that comes off much easier, but I quite like using the pens because you've got more control over it and you don't have to um, mess your brushes up or anything so excuse me whilst I huff and puff to get this off because it's really stuck on <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have left it on the window so you can see it's coming off nice it when it works, it's nice, not this, <laughs> it looks pretty. And I'm going to finish it off with a bit of um, negative painting and add a few more bits. And yeah, arm exercise. <laughs> oh, I got hot and bothered doing this a bit earlier. Because I'm rubbing so hard, it's also taking off some of the um, watercolour as well, but it's giving quite a nice effect. I do like... If I had my way, I would have used this one, but it was, it's runded out, or I haven't put the lid on properly. This one, that one just like peels off and it's very satisfying. So I did that too quickly, is that one. The one I used it was this. Yeah, I get told off I don't show people everything. Yeah, the the effects are going to be good. So it's, it is worth all the arm exercise effort. 
and I'll try not to bore you to death too much by just watching me rub out stuff. So it's pulling up quite a bit of the colour, but it's giving a really pretty effect. So I've only got this bit to do and one over there. So it shouldn't be too long and I can get painting. It's my morning exercise, this is. <laughs> a solid block. Yeah, I haven't ever... I don't really use masking fluid that much, so I don't tend to buy stuff. As you can see, my... Um, that one's gone solid because it's so old. <laughs> don't don't use it much. So it is working. My putty rubber's really hot, so it's really not. It needs to be a bit harder, and I can't find my hard rubber. I have got a hard rubber somewhere, which probably would work better. Because this is just a bit smooshy. Just a little bit more. Thank you everybody. It's making me get all shy. <laughs> Let's get this off. Come off. I want to start painting. It's annoying, but Just this bit over here, that's not coming off very well. <laughs> but you can see the effect it's having. Oh. Get off. I think also I put um, alcohol on this, didn't I? So that's not helping it. <laughs> Hi, Chloe. So if I've missed anyone else coming in. Oh, Joe Lewis, she says, mask away. Ooh, I'll have a look. Right, I'm almost done. I'm just going to run my hand with it. This hasn't come off properly. Get off. Yeah, just run my hand over it and I can feel where the masking fluid is. There, it's given a nice subtle effect because it was all smooshy. Right, I'm going to come in and do some negative painting. <laughs> Draw some anchors on my forearm. Yeah, <laughs> I think, I think I'm I've got it all now. There we go. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, this paper is really good. It's this paper. And I'm not going to say it. Oh. Can you see? And it's the... And it's matte, cold-pressed, fine grain. Green phenol. So that looks like pretty how it is, but I am going to come in and um, do a bit of negative painting and use some pencil, some watercolour pencils. Oh. So I'm just going to be fiddling around with this. These are the Faber Castle art grip ones, which I mentioned earlier. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> spinach for breakfast yet. Popeyes and cereals, man. Don't start me singing. Right, I'm, I'm just going to go around and accentuate. Accentuate, you, you know what I mean. Some, some of the flowers. And it might come to life a bit and a bit of scribbling. And then I'll come in with some... some watercolour around it. Well, I might just do it with watercolour actually because I don't really quite like them. Keep those nice pinks and purples. No, I didn't mean it to be heart shape. I was just thinking that. It looks like a heart. <laughs> sort of those happy little accidents. You might find that I'm doing quite a bit of brush licking here, so forgive me when I do negative painting I tend to brush lick quite a bit so negative painting is just sort of painting around the outline the shape to leave a negative effect and it's quite effective and I use it quite a lot in uh, backgrounds of paintings and things but this one I'm just going around and sort of accentuating a few a few of the flowers so you can see them a bit better here and there I'm not going to overdo it and then I might add some yellow centers in I quite like the real it's quite subtle come and add in some green <coughs> My dog's going to go crazy in a minute. I don't know what it is. There was some cats last night making such a noise and kept waking me up. Annoying dog. I think there's a, like a cat party in my garden and I have my window open because it's quite warm. Sorry if I'm not answering any questions in a minute. I'm concentrating. <laughs> Do I know any way of um, rejuvenating thick masking fluid? No, I don't. I wish it, once it's dry, it's just latex, isn't it? So once it's dry, it's dry and rubbery, and you can just use latex, which is much cheaper to buy. Um, my daughter had some for her um, makeup course she was doing like stage makeup they use latex in that to do like special effects so I pinched some of that once and it, it works really well but usually you can only buy like huge things of that latex stuff but I have got some more masking fluid somewhere but because I'm so organized <laughs> let's go around this little leaf that I did When you're like negative painting, <clears throat> I like to go round the shape like that. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a crack into it. And then um, I wet my brush and just come in and just smoosh it out so the line's not. You have to do it quite quickly because you don't want it to dry so the line's not like a visible line. And that gives you a nice effect like that. This is going to be a painting that I'm going to be fiddling around with, doing little bits. <laughs> it's not my usual style at all. It's good to mix things up a bit. It's going to make these a bit more... Um, so you can see... Um, morning Kathleen oh morning Angela oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to come in and do some yellow centres to them with my Posca pen because I do like that
there's quite there's, using the masking fluid gives you lots of depth and layers and little interesting things happening so I, can, I can sort of even come in and do some darker ones over the top just to pick them out a bit get some nice things going on <laughs> pretty I've decided what I'm going to do with my watercolours because I'm getting because I'm doing them sort of every morning. I'm getting a big stack of them and they're just sat here in my studio. So I'm going to be putting every time I do one. Once I get into the <laughs> routine of doing it, I'm putting them up on Etsy to sell. They'll be quite cheap because um, I think it's nice to let people have original stuff like make it affordable so people I'll save selling my watercolours, expensive ones at exhibitions and things when I have an open studio so I'll try and remember to put the link down ah oh, Mrs T, great you got springtime <laughs> I do like spring. We're like moving into the summer now and everything's gone crazy. I still haven't planted out my veg. I need to do that today. It's my mission. <laughs> Smish that around. I don't know if I'm going to keep the heart shape. That's some blue flowers because there's some blue in the middle. And there's no anywhere else where it's not blue, it's um, turquoise. Yeah, I've got the Etsy app. a bit more green I think <clears throat> and I can't remember I for, sorry I've forgotten your name whoever wanted the um, that pearl it's coming to you I will send it today which I didn't put, I put it in my um, palette here and I wish I hadn't <coughs> I forget that if it says pearl on the tube it usually is pearl sorry I got, can't speak <coughs> excuse me <laughs> yeah. Let's put some more sort of leaves in here and there. Okay, then some over here. It's weird because I don't usually come back into a painting once it's dry. <laughs> I usually just do wet and wet and leave it, but this this is um different. Ooh, messed up that bit. Melanie, you're funny. It's <laughs> like you're supporting the straight jacket. Practice. <laughs> I keep telling people. People keep going, oh, mine never looks anything like yours. And it's like, practice. I've been doing this for like 30 years or more. So it's going to, um, I do sort of make it look a bit easier than it actually is.
See, just lick the brush. Shh. I think, I think I've got enough. You can see the flowers a bit better now, can't you? This one's annoying me here, so I'm just gonna. Looks like a blob. Need to be careful. I don't get jellyfish again. Every time I look at that daisy painting I did, all I can see is jellyfish. <laughs> Let's do some dark flowers in here. This two, one. Bit of contrast. All these are, like, are just like little stars. It's quite easy to paint. It's nothing technical. Little daisy flowers. Might even get a. Should I? Shall I? No. Oh, I can't find the colour. It was a dark blue. I was going to do some. Yeah, there we go. Some scribbly flowers. Here and there. Because I've got some scribbly ones as we're masking forward. See, simples. Ah, uh, thank you, Mrs. T. <laughs> Do some more of these shooting out. There, let's put some centres in. I'm going to do yellow, yellow, yellow dots. <laughs> Yeah, I like scribbly bits. <laughs> so now it's going to look yellow dotty. <laughs> oh, don't make you stay up late. <laughs> it's part of your bedtime. Oh, thank you. I do appreciate everybody who watches me of a morning and chats, and it's nice. Sets me up for the day, especially at the minute. Like when I don't do it in the morning, I do feel sad. I feel like I've haven't quite accomplished anything. I hope that I'm inspiring you to paint and have a go as well, and giving you ideas and teaching you things you perhaps haven't thought of. Oh, well, I try to, anyway. <laughs> I like inspiring people to paint. If someone comes away and goes, oh, I really, I went and picked up my paint because I watched you paint. It's like, I'm like, oh, that's, that's what I like doing. There, I think there's enough yellow dots. <laughs> Is that enough yellow dots, do you think? Let's give a few more. Even it makes the flowers stick out a little bit more. I'm going to be like fiddling around with this for ages. <laughs> oh, it's pretty. I'll zoom in a bit because... Um, you can't, it is sort of a heart, let's zoom in and you can see a bit of the detail. I'm going to take my camera off the thing, so wait for the wobbly bit, sorry if you suffer from, um, what do you call it, motion sickness, but I'll try and do it steady. Okay, you can see all the little details. Whee. It's slow. Close up. Let's zoom out, back out again. There. I'll stick it back up there. Sorry. Those who suffer. <laughs> this 
pen is a Posca pen pen that I, I always use to do dots and things. I've got they come in their um, acrylic paint markers and they come in loads of colours. I use them for my other art, but the yellow one I always <laughs> use for centres of flowers. It's just like, oh look, there's yellow dots. I've got it's my one of my yellow is my favourite colour. And this isn't quite that colour, it's more of a orangey yellow as you can see it's my favorite color <laughs> right so that's that that was quite quick in the end i thought i'd be there all day getting that masking fluid <laughs> off um yeah i might paint another poppy quickly because i've still got a few minutes i just try and keep these sort of morning things to like half an hour 45 minutes so um, I might paint the big poppy actually, let's paint the big poppy. So I feel like painting this morning, so <laughs> I'm going to paint another poppy painting. Oh, I'm just getting this off the block there, so I'm going to put these up on my Etsy. So I keep a look out, they're not on there, this is my one I did the other day, I've got a whole pile. <laughs> My jellyfish, I still think these look like jellyfish. And these, that one, that was from the other day. I like this, actually, looking at this, I'm thinking I might do another splodgy watercolour like this. Or poppies. One like this or poppies, come on, I'll give you the choice. Mrs. T's asking, how do I find my tools? Do I go by suggestions? Do I just walk into the store and play? Oh, I don't buy much lately. <laughs> poppies, someone said poppies, mixed flowers. Come on, I've got one each mixed. Oh, the mixed flowers are winning. No, no Mrs. T, I don't buy much, but um, sometimes I... I go through stages of buying things and I do sort of go by recommendations of other artists and things and I go, oh, I haven't tried that, so I do that. Mixed. Okay. Mixed flowers it is then. Right, I'm going to get my big brush and I'm going to do a really loose, blodgy flower painting of... Um, let me see, I want sort of orange, I feel an orange coming in, let me just get my watercolours, oops, I can, yeah this like, oopsie, I'm going to do one a bit like this, I think, similar, because I like these spodgy, spodgy ones, and I'm going to stick some more gamboge in here, this is a, um, Daniel Smith one. Let's so throw it in the bin. Um, pinks. I'm going to use a. I've got lots of pink now. I don't need any more pink. Even more pink. I want a brownie colour. This is burnt sienna. I'm just going to stick that there. Ooh, what is that one? This is yellow ochre light, which is quite nice, I think. I haven't used that in a while. Someone said on here that they didn't like yellow ochre. Who was it? <laughs> I can add my new colours into here. Look, nice big tubes. Blue. That's for them. Right. Oh, morning, Karam. Yeah, I look, it may look, might look like I've got lots of watercolours and that, but some of them are, like, really old. So, um... You'll be happy to know I don't have clean water. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just going to do a blobby, squidgy, splodgy. I'm just going to let the colours all run in together and make happy accidents and just see what I turn up with. Just see, see that colour's really nice. And that's just um, 
yellow ochre and burnt sienna look how pretty it is and then if you do something that you wouldn't normally add a color to like brown and pink mmm pretty <laughs> okay, I can try and make them look like flowers I will <laughs> brown and bright pink that's nice <laughs> stick a bit of gambage in his mouth and ahead of it this is really thick paint here I'm using it's quite nice and then I'm just gonna I do waste a lot of paint just by splodging it around but you've got to have fun haven't you Ooh, let's add a bit of pink to that one. Oh, I haven't, I still haven't, still haven't um, <laughs> filled up my bleach, so it's running a bit thin. Now I've got some all different brownie pinks up here. I'm going to sort of try and start making it look a bit like flowers, maybe. So it's like abstracty. Yeah, I've got Moon Glow. It's up here somewhere. This, I think it's there. Sort of a browny purple, isn't it? And it does a lovely granulation. It's Daniel Smith's Moon Glow, and it's really nice. If you mix it with other colours, and you get, like, this beautiful granulation happening, which I love. See, these are quite granulacy, and that's just... This is granulating here, and it's just, I don't know if you can see very clearly. Can we just zoom in? Can I zoom in so you can see? Yeah, I don't know if you can see. I'm going to lift it up, and it's going to splodge everywhere. Can you, can you see that? That's just Mission, um, Mission op Bright Opera Pink. Um, the uh, Mission... Um, Raw Sienna and Ochre Light, light by um, Winsor & Newton. Gosh, I'm trying to remember all these. I think I'm surprised. I surprised myself there. I just actually remembered all, what all the colours were I'm using. That's the first. See, that's just like really thick paint there. It's really gloopy. really nice I'm just sort of I don't know what I'm painting really so I'm just having fun and just <laughs> letting it splodge around in strange colours <laughs> yeah, try painting that's what I do with my other art and um, my um, sort of abstracty mitzi b stuff I am um, put weird colors together that people wouldn't normally put so this one here I'm thinking it's going to be look quite nice with a bit of turquoise in it <laughs> it looks all right And I've just got a big brush that holds loads of water, which is nice. Let's do some. Simple brush strokes. So this is like really gone nice there. I'm just going to add a bit of bleach. I've run out of bleach. <laughs> Get out. The pink one here. I love that opera pink. If anybody doesn't know, <laughs> it's Bright Opera by Mission. And I'm just letting all the colours squidge in together. Yeah, 
here. Spodging around is art. It's good. I've got, I'm going to do some sanding, grating. <laughs> Someone called it. And it's got a yellow. <sighs> so it has a bit of texture because it's like texture. <sighs> Let's blow it away. Oh, you don't want it. Let's do some drawing as well. And when I'm like drawing with these, I'm sort of um, picking up the colour that's underneath it as well, if you know what I mean. The wet paint, I'm, like drawing, you can do it with a pencil as well. Let's pick a weird colour pencil. What colour shall we pick? I wouldn't normally do whatever colour this is. This is just a weird brown colour. Let's just do some scribbles. <laughs> it looks cool. This is a strange painting. <laughs> I think I need some more brown flowers down there. Let's do some browny ones. There's some more blue in, I think. Splodge, splodge, splodginess. <laughs> a bit more of that turquoise in it. I can't remember what colour I was using the moon glow wasn't I for that. Let's see how I can find it in a minute. Let's add some more leaves in. I'm just like touching the edge so it pulls the colour in. Like that. That's how pretty that is. And then it drags all the colour up. This is how you sort of learn to paint. <laughs> if you go and, um, if you want to loosen up, this is a great way to just learn because um, just get a big bit of paper and just paint abstracty flowers and see what all the colours do together that you've got. And you'll find some things do some wonderful things. And then the more you do it, you remember what colours do and how they react. And then you can use it to your advantage. I'm getting a bit carried away here. <laughs> Give that a centre on this one. I love this. Ooh, to it. <laughs> um, I've got some alcohol here. Let's put some bodges in the middle to try and make the middles of the, some of the flowers. E. Don't get carried away. I think that's right. Look at all this lovely granulation happening there. That's um, got a bit of moon glow mixed in with it. So I'm just reading the comments. <laughs> um, yeah, I always get asked this, Sharon, is the bleach water done yet? I use thick bleach. 
like that ultra thick bleach and this is what I put it in. I, it's usually like a third. I fill it up a third with the really thick bleach and then the rest with water. But it doesn't really matter. Have a play. <laughs> Have a play around. I think I'm going to leave that one because it's got some nice things happening and if I start fiddling around for too much <laughs> then it's going to, um, I'm going to mess it up. Yeah, so splodgy, abstracty, florals. There we go. <laughs> yeah, it's okay just to use thin bleach, just have a play, see what's wor what works for you. Um, not all watercolours will bleach out but most of them will. And they have to be wet as well. It doesn't really work very well on if you let the paint dry. So say here is a dry bit. I've got a tiny bit of bleach left. See, it doesn't do anything until it gets to the wet paint and then it will push it away and do stuff to it. Yeah, go and do a real fun painting to see, Anne-Marie. <laughs> Just go and splodge around and make a mess and see what you turn out with. Use colours that you wouldn't normally put together and you get some nice things happening. Anyway, thank you everybody for joining me. I will show you the, this tomorrow and look at all the lovely granulation bits and textures that are happening and what the colours have done together. And have a lovely day, evening, night time, wherever you are. <laughs> and I will see you later. Bye.